adverse weather forecast across many Australian areas. Heavy rainfall, strong winds and possible flooding are forecast across the parts of Australian Capital Territory, Southeastern New South Wales and Eastern Victoria through at least October 5. Heavy rain is likely over the ranges of the Gippsland and Victoria the afternoon of October 3rd before extending northwards to the northeastern Victoria from evening of October 3. A low pressure system is forecast to develop over the southern New South Wales on October 4 to 5. Severe thunderstorms could produce heavy rainfall leading to dangerous and life threatening flooding. As of October 3rd, the Australian Bureau of Meteorology had issued a severe weather warnings for the heavy rainfall and damaging winds for the parts of Australian Capital Territory and snowy mountains, south coast, southwest slopes, riverina and southern tablelands, forecast districts in South Wales and eastern Gippsland, northeast, west and south Gippsland. North Central Northern Country and North Central Forecast Districts in Victoria. A flood watch is in place for the Upper Murray, Mita Mita and Snowy Rivers and the Murray River to the Tokamwal in the New South Wales and Eastern Victoria. Wind warnings are in effect for much of the affected areas. Authorities will likely issue new alerts or update existing advisories as weather conditions change over the coming days. Sustained heavy rainfall could trigger flooding in the low-lying areas and communities near rivers, streams and creeks. Urban flooding is also possible in developed areas with the easily overwhelmed and lack of stormwater drainage systems. Sites located downstream from the large reservoirs or rivers may be subject to flash floodings after relatively short periods of intense rainfall. Landslides are possible in the hilly or mountainous areas, especially where heavy rain has saturated the soil. Flood water and debris flows may render some bridges, rail networks or roadways impassable, impacting overland travel in and around affected areas. Ponding on the road surfaces could cause hazardous driving conditions on the regional highways. Authorities could temporarily close some low-lying roads that become inundated by the flood waters. Flooding could block regional rail lines, freight and passenger train delays and cancellations are possible in the areas with the heavy rainfall and potential track inundation. Severe weather could also trigger flight delays and cancellations at the regional airports. Localized business disruptions may occur in low-lying areas. Some businesses might not operate at full capacity because of the flood damage to facilities, possible evacuations and employees' inability to reach the work sites. Electricity and telecommunication service disruptions are possible where the significant flooding Strong winds or landslides impact utility networks. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.